All right, what's up, guys? And today I'm gonna be showing you how to do the door effect, as you can see um, in my background uh, on the D in designs. There's a door, uh, and it looks like there's a whole room inside of the letter D, and it makes a really cool effect. Um, and so I don't get any hate as saying I stole this tutorial or anything from anyone on YouTube. I didn't find it on YouTube. Actually, this is the website I found it on. Now I'm not sure if they took it from any other website or who 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 originally found this out but this is this is where I found it and uh, as you can see it's only pictures and I know a lot of you guys like video tutorials so that's just why I'm gonna be recreating this um and so what you want to do is open up uh, cinema 4d and go ahead and add a floor and I'm gonna be doing this pretty quickly because this might take a little while um, and after that you're gonna go on a MoGraph and text object and then type in door this oh whoopsie I'm retarded <laughs> um, this works very well with the letter D um, and you know straight edged uh, letters as you can see the D with the straight edge um, it will obviously like R will work you see that but obviously it won't work with like the edge of an R or an O or anything like that because it obviously isn't straight and will look really bad so what you're gonna want to do is find a really big thick font um, and I have one called impact and that's actually the one I used before and I'm gonna go ahead and select that and hit bold and hit OK and then what you're gonna want to do is raise the depth to around a hundred or maybe I'd say one one twenty five would be good and then the height make it bigger make this a little bit bigger and that's a pretty good so 350 and maybe make the depth a little bit more depth alright so now well, once you've got that what you're gonna wanna do is create a cube and then go over to the uh... let me let me find it real quick ah oh, here it is uh, you're gonna gonna come over here to the uh, array looking thing, and then the bool tool, and go ahead and add the uh, text object, and then the cube after that. Or actually, no, my bad. Add the cube first, and then the text object. And what you'll see is the cube is actually beginning to go through the the D in the door. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and take the cube out real quick. So that I can go ahead and make this the size that I want before it starts cutting through so I can see it. Um, so you're going to go ahead and make it the size that you want the doorway to be. This is what that, this is the, uh, the way you create that effect. Um, so I'll go ahead and mm, maybe make it that big. Uh, you might want to make it a little bit skinnier. And that's pretty good there. I'll make it a little shorter here. Move it up a little, and then you're gonna want to you're gonna want to put it all the way into the D. Um, and as you can see, it'll it'll start going through the back of it. So you want to have a little bit of it coming out. Make it even larger. Keep going until right before, so you don't see the the um, the cube coming out of this side right here. So about right there is pretty good. And then you'll put the cube right back into the bool tool under the text object. And as you can see, there is a huge hole in the D. And you can still move it around even afterwards. And so that's how you create the entrance way. Um, and that's pretty much the, the main thing that people need to know. Um, how I created the door and the door... Uh, the things around the door, um, them to the uh, to the right size to make them look like um, to make them look like real uh, door things, like the things on the side of the door. Um, I can't even think of what they're called right now. This is such a brain fart. <laughs> but yeah, you make them skinny, um, and then rotate it. This is going crazy right now. Oh my god! All right, and then you rotate it and make the width a lot less and you go ahead and put it right next to the door so that it looks like a door frame that's what it is there we go and um, and 
it's very simple actually you'll you just create it the the right size move it up here and back and slightly into the wall and since I have no textures or lighting or anything if I render this out you probably won't even be able to see the difference oh you can still see it a little bit so you'll see it like that and then um, and then you'll copy paste create another one and then move that one over to here then you make a smaller one for the top um, and the same with the door go ahead and make another cube and just make it smaller or skinnier my bad and then the width make it less a lot less and then there you go there's there's the uh, there's the door you'll just size it right uh, and rotate much it for the door part um, now, as you guys could see, I had a light coming out of mine, uh, so I guess I'll show you how to do that. All you have to do is go to light, area light, and go ahead and put it in the doorway. And then you have to make sure that you go ahead and turn on shadow maps soft, because if you don't, if you have no shadow maps, then it'll kind of go throughout the whole thing and look very weird. So what you're going to have to do is create shadow maps and it'll come only out of the door as you can see and if you can see here the uh, the black line that's because it's not rotated so what you're gonna wanna do is rotate this 90 degrees I'll just go ahead and type in 90 there and then make this smaller like around there and if you render it out then as you can see it's just coming out of the doorway and it makes for a nice effect after you add all the textures and everything it'll look uh, looks pretty nice so Thanks for watching guys, this was a quick tutorial on how to make the door in my speed art that I just uploaded. After this you'll just render it out and add any of my effects you want to uh, in any other program. So thanks for watching guys, hope this helped and um, until next time guys, peace.